What's up, Sharks? This is Mr. O, your infamous science teacher. Today we're going to do a last quick flip notes on our last part of our flower units called transpiration. As you can tell, it's an asian, so it's a process. Um, these notes should be really short and to the point. Um, general idea is you need to know transpiration. You need to know the three parts of a plant that prevent water loss or help with water loss. And then there's a couple key elements. So let's get started. On top of your uh, flip notes, you'll see a box of transpiration. The definition that you need to know is transpiration is the process of water loss through the stomata. Now, I'm just going to let you know that I jokingly say that humans perspire and plants transpire. Um, even though it's not plant sweat, it's similar. It's uh, the way the plants get excess water. Just as anybody knows, you can die of too much water if you're a plant, meaning you can overwater it. So this is the way a plant will regulate how much water it has. There's three parts of a plant that help work with this, and we're going to talk about just three. There's many more parts of a plant you'll learn in the more in seventh grade. The three that we're going to focus on are the epidermis, the stomata, and the guard cells. The ep epidermis's function, it's on a leaf, the epidermis, and the stomata together prevent water loss. Uh, you don't need to know anything more about the epidermis, even though there's lots to know more about the epidermis. We're going to try to keep it simple and to the point. Stobon is next. Stobon is function. It allows carbon dioxide in and oxygen out. So for photosynthesis, it starts with the stomata, and for photosynthesis, it ends with the stomata. And it also works to prevent water loss. So the key here is stomata and epidermis both have a hand in preventing water loss. And the third part are called guard cells. Just like you know, guard is to protect something. This function will be similar to that. They surround and control the size of the opening of the stomata, meaning they are the people that regulate how big or little that stomata gets. It helps with the opening and closing of the guard cells to regulate the transpiration, meaning epidermis and stomata regulate water loss, but the guard cells is the component that will allow it to work. So in general, all three of these parts, epidermis, stomata, and guard cells, all work together to prevent water loss, which is transpiration. Key elements. You have three of them on the bottom of your page. You're going to fill in what is bolded and underlining. Key elements. Preventing water loss is vital. And if you don't know what vital means, it means important for the survival of plants. Now, it could be preventing or it could be also regulating. That's where the next one's going to go. Regulate means to control the level of water for a plant. So regulate means if there's too much or too little, the guard cells will control that stomata and allow it to either allow more water out or prevent water from leaving the plant. And the third one, transpiration takes place in all green plants. I think this is the shortest of your flip notes. These we do on Monday and we'll talk more about transpiration as a process. However, these Flip notes will help you finish your study guide. All right, see you on Monday.